I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 34 yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Red two, go. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at about the 45. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brent, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. Fires it out. Tackle around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and two. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes at the 40. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it seven and six. six. Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop right around the 34. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. SMU could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he got it! It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Setting up play action. They'll make the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Fires incomplete, knocked away. Your instincts tell you to go for the pick. You've got to make the best play you can, and sometimes it's just batting the ball away. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Stone, back to return it. He's taken down at the 48. They're set to go for another round. SMU is up a field goal. Brought down at the 44. That makes it second and two. the middle for a nice game.
and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. From the 45 yard line, it's second down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Taken down at the 17-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. It's second and 15. Ball on the 22-yard line. SMU has a three-point lead. He goes out of bounds at the 18-yard line. That's a deep four. Throws in a hurry. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 52-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score... 10 nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Check, check. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game. That was a big turnover. It's first and ten. Ball in the 31. Nice run there. The 10, and he hauls it in. Tackle made at the 8-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Quick throw. He's taken down around the three yard line. That's a team of one on the play. That brings him second. Here's the eighth play of the series. 
All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Throws to the right to his fullback. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 30-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll return it from the one. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The Mustangs really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Well, here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. First down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Things starting to get out of hand here as we head to the second quarter. 17 to nothing, SMU. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. This tackle. Got it, and brought down immediately. Gaining four yards. That brings him second and five. Kill, kill, kill! He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. That makes it first and ten. Makes it out to about the 29. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Check three, check three. Check, Black check. Time, Larry. Larry. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. I got two, I got two. Six and seven. Slings it. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. That makes it 33. Mike 50, Mike 50. Check nine, check nine. Runs right for a nice game. Gaining four on the play. First down. I got him, I got him. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Hey, kill him. He just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Play 13 of the current drive. Moves up, and the defense has got it. 
I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Another third down upcoming, and they've converted all three this drive. It's intercepted. That's the last thing they needed to have was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game, and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Fires in a hurry. Interception. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. From the 38-yard line, first down. Martin takes the give, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Kind of hard to tell what happened there. Maybe he hurried it, or he didn't have a good grip on the ball. Whatever the case, no chance for the tight end to make the catch. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 17-3, SMU. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Mustangs look almost unstoppable in that first quarter. Herbie, since then, it's not so much that way. Yeah, they've been sluggish here in recent uh, series, but I think it's important. They still have the lead. This is where some leadership needs to assert itself, and somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going. He might have a chance. He makes his way to about the 38. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. So an empty backfield with five yeah. wide receivers. Yeah. And he's tackled right away. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Go, go. 
Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Tackle right around the 40. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws a bullet. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. So the score now, 24-3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they make the stop right around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. That's good for the three yards. Third down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Most of the time, zone coverage will take away the out route. Not that time. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. He fires left side. The defender had it and then dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Shot to the tailback and threw his hands. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Throws it. Picked off. It's the ball hawking senior. I'm starting to get the sense that this guy's feeling the pressure, that he has to make something happen. But what he has to realize is he's only making it worse. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. SMU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. He chucks it downfield. Missed him. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Let's go. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 38-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Roberts to punt. And down he goes at the 33. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. 
incomplete, and he's hit hard. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he's tackled at the 46. Tackle made at the 38. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 24 to 3, SMU. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The first half was a complete mismatch. We did not expect a margin like this. Now the question becomes, not only are you down on the scoreboard, David, but you're down mentally. What kind of toll does a beating like this team took in the first half have on your psyche? Well, when you come into a game and, and you're favored or it's supposed to be a really close contest, and then all of a sudden you start getting kicked around, I think the first thing is, do I belong? <laughs> Am I really as good as I thought I was? And they got a second half to come out and prove it. But right now, they've had no answers whatsoever. Everything has gone the other way. Everything's gone poorly. Everything's gone bad. So if they're going to turn this around, they better start believing that they belong and come out in the second half and start making some plays. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 27. SMU's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Gaining eight on the play. First down. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Let's get you, let's get you, let's get you. Easy, easy. And here's a quick throw. Catches it. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. He diagnosed the blitz immediately and had time to improvise for the big play. That's the kind of quick thinking you need to succeed as a quarterback. On the throw, incomplete pass. Well, he didn't lead him enough on that pass. Well, he tried a little too much finesse on that pass, I think. He needs to get a little bit more velocity on it. That way, you don't have to lead the receiver so much. Second and 10, ball on the 30. Zips it to the back. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. It has the distance, and he got it. This looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
They're set to go for another round. Dog four. Green They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 23. Throws a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 37. He sails it long. The senior makes the catch for the 20. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. the PAT. So a four-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. The score now, 31-6. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Boss is out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle at the 29. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Hey, we got Mike Fitz. Mike Fitz, we go. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. It's third and five. Ball on the 29 yard line. Quick pass going back to his running back. And down he goes around the 31 yard line. Stone back deep to return. Stone fields it at the 26. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. From their own 39-yard line, Second down, the quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's got the corner. He's at midfield. He's out of bounds at about the 49. SMU comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Call it a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 50. Out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. He's going to air it long. Can't 
connect. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And they make the stop at the 30. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 38-yard line. With the reception. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up 32. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That's good for game of the yards. First down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue floor. Fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. The young men on the offense must be completely demoralized right now. It just hasn't been their day. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Looks middle, got his back, and he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Throws incomplete. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. From the 34 yard line. Second down. He's under pressure, fires incomplete. That's three down and one to go. The Mustangs with a huge lead. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. He flings it. Great concentration to haul it in. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Steve Hill to climb to get back into it, but these are the kinds of plays they'll need to start getting up that hill. Oh, 
And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's on the run. He's at midfield. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Here they come, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Going deep, lays it out there. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. Sheds that one. And he's leveled at the 17-yard line. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah, this guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. First and 10. Ball on the 17. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's taken down right around the 24-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Roberts to punt. there to give his team decent field position. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He's got it with room to run. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Loss of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Washington D10 to the season. made at the 34.
A lot of times you don't have time to react on a pass that is thrown into the end zone. So that was a very good job to get his hand in the way to knock the ball away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he is drilled at the 35. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Wants to go long and done. Uh, got his receiver. Touchdown. They're looking to get two points here. A little over a minute in the game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, eight. Motion. Go. They don't get it. So that's a seven-play, 50-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. They'll bring him down at the 44. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Memphis will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Well, the Tigers using their third and final timeout. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. try and scramble and they got him there's sack number four well he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball that's going to lead to turnovers So that's going to do it. The Mustangs get the win here. 31-19. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.